Hello again. Well, it might, might turn out to be on the bit on the ranty side, this, because I'm a bit, a bit cross about this. But this is something I, I didn't know, and, and so, you know, you, I don't mind share it, because you may not know anyway. Anyway, it's about this mobile phone, or rather Motorola mobile phones, but, you know, I, I expect it's the same for a lot of other sort of Chinese manufacturers, mainly. And, and this is the Moto G 5G Plus. Uh, and I bought this back in... Uh, October 2020 and it's now the you know the end of July uh, 2022 so I've had it for what's that about 20 months something like that very uh, anyway and uh, I bought this for 199 pound I thought that's pretty good because it's a uh, you know it's just a reasonably powerful machine it's got a snapdragon 765 processor and it's got uh, 5G, so I can get those, you know, very fast download speeds and low latency and all that. And, um, you know, it, it's, 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 the battery is maybe, you know, only about 90% of what it was, but it still gets me through well over a day. And as you can see, it's kind of all buttery smooth with the running and it's, uh, you know, it's absolutely fine. So I can, you know, click on something and it's, you know, Richie Wright and boom, that comes up. Very quickly, and it's, it's all working very well. The problem, which I, I didn't either know about or, or think about when I bought it, is, is Motorola security update policy. Now, now this is running Android 11 at the moment, and I got one, one update from Android 10, and um, I think Android 12, or the second version of Android 12 has come out now, and but Google are still uh, supporting Android 10 and Android 11 by monthly security updates. The problem is that Motorola seem to have a strict you get two years and after that no more security updates policy or indeed updates of anything. And, you know, I'll get quite cross about this because, you know, there, there is nothing wrong with this phone. And, you know, presumably, you know, environmentally, you know, presumably, it, you know, they need a lot of lithium, possibly some rare earth metals to be dug out and, you know, it, it made. And, and you know, it's it's fine. Yet I'm now very worried about using it anymore because it's, it's a lottery if you don't get security updates. And of course, you know, what our security updates is basically the holes they've found in the software with which they're plugging. So, you know, it's a problem, you know, in the sense that they, they didn't notice. And, you know, so it, it seems to me it's, it should be their, their duty to, you know, to, uh, to, to plug these things. You know, and I, I accept, you know, you can't support things forever. I'm not, you know, saying, oh, you know, no one's giving me my, you know, word perfect six for DOS updates. But, you know, if Google are still supporting Android 10, which is, you know, came out a year before Android 11, all Motorola have to do is sort of package them up and, you know, deliver it to the phone, which, 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 which they're not doing. And it seems to be a sort of, you know, planned obsolescence by something new thing, which I, I think is, you know, dreadful. So, because you, you say so you get two years and what the, you know, got me thinking about this and I'm checking this week was that I was um, I was reading about Chris Evans. I think the guy, you know, the guy who plays Captain America. Anyway, he's, he's kept his iPhone 6S, which he bought, I think, in 2015. And he's, um, you know, he's just giving that up now it's because, you know, the, a, the battery's failing. And also, he didn't say this, but, you know, Apple are not going to be supporting it anymore when iOS 16, I think, is comes out um, um, in the autumn this year. So basically, he's had it for seven years, and Apple is still supporting it. You know, why can't they, they do something like that with this? But it's even worse than that, because when you get a two years of updates, that doesn't start, you know, on the day you bought it, or, you know, what I kind of thought would be reasonable on the day it was discontinued. No, the clock starts ticking on the day that this the phone was going to release to the general public. So, the, you know, that's the, I think it was the 8th of July 2020 in this case. And so, you know, if you bought it as I did, you know, in, in October, that's August, September, October, you, you, you know, that's kind of, you know, three months of security updates less you're getting. So you don't even get your two months. 
But it's even worse than that, because Motorola seemed to be very bad at um, releasing software updates. You know, they don't, I mean, all of Google seem to do them every month, they certainly don't pass them on every month, and they sometimes seem to do them in batches. So, for example, for this one, I know it's going to be reversed, you can't tell looking at the phone that it's out of date if you didn't notice. So what this says here, if I go to system update, I know it says the wrong round, but it says, you know, everything's fine, security patch, 1st of May 2022. Now this is, I say, the end of July 2022, and I know for a fact that Google have produced two more than this. So given that, you know, this is over two years since released, I'm not going to get any more security patches, and I've actually had only 19 months, which I think is appalling, you know, you know, it's a, it's a perfectly good phone, nothing wrong with it, yet I'm now going to be worried about, you know, well, this is, I'm going to hack into my account, given that, you know, I do, you know, I've got my banking app on here and I buy stuff through it on eBay, so I, I think it's appalling. Anyway, so well, I didn't know this stuff, so maybe, maybe you don't either, but I think, you know, it's, it's something to watch out for. Um, I, you know, I'm not, I don't think it's just Motorola, I think a lot of other particularly Chinese manufacturers do this, but I know Samsung, I think, give at least, you know, three or uh, four years on their new phone, possibly even five, you know, even on the kind of the, the cheap budget line. So uh, anyway, I'm uh, certainly going to take into account the next time I buy a new phone. So I hope that that's been of, uh, been of use to you and thank, thanks for watching.